that could help you, you know, potentially grow your channel faster. I promise you, nobody wants to get to know you. You need 4,000 hours of watch time. Yeah. And you need 1,000 subscribers. Making one minute videos to please people is gonna hurt you in the long run. Well, I'm gonna say y'all, cause I don't see, I click off a video by then. I'm not gonna sit and watch nobody eat for 10 minutes. Photos of Papa Bear, Nicki Minaj's son. They were digging in their nose. They were embarrassed. Once you get copyrighted for using someone's property, they definitely can get paid from it. But to avoid when it comes to starting your YouTube channel, I want genuine people who are really interested in what I have to say. And the thing lost can be found again except for time wasted. A vision without action is merely a dream. It's the action, it's the grind, it's the hustle, it's the pursuit. What's good, you guys? I'm Lexi J. This is Rent That Spill. And today, I'm back with some don'ts. As promised, I told you guys I was going to make the don'ts a separate video because I did not want you guys to sit through over an hour long video because the dudes were um, 40 minutes unedited. So I didn't even want to put you guys through that. So today we are about to get into the don'ts. And it's not just necessarily the do's and don'ts of YouTube. It's just like things, do's and don'ts that would definitely help your channel progress more. And not even just your channel, just like social media in general. I guess we're going to get right into it. Like I said before, I have the list all mapped out. So if you see me looking down, you see me on my phone, that's what I'm looking at. Just to get an um, idea of where I'm at, things like that. So yeah, I definitely want you guys to know what to avoid when it comes to starting your YouTube channel or maintaining your new channel. So let's get into it. Okay, number one, do not use anyone else's property. Don't use anyone else's property when it comes to YouTube because that is the easiest way to get a copyright claim. I learned when you post a video and you use someone else's music like let's just say for instance drake my joint channel sips for life the first intro that we had made the first intro that i had made i had used uh Giveon's part from chicago freestyle and of course one thing about it you definitely want to make sure that if you're gonna have music or anything it's like less than 15 seconds but i would say even 10 seconds like be on the safe side and 13 seconds and under 10 seconds and under but just make sure you don't use you know more than a few seconds of someone's song secondly i will definitely say just for from using that one um i made the intro 13 seconds and of course it still got copyrighted um but that was before we even dropped our first video before anybody knew about our channel it was just the starting phase so i was testing it out and sure enough they were like, nope, mm -mm. this Drake. So what it is, is YouTube has this, this their own little software where it automatically detects it's like a little, the way they describe it is like a little internal robot. So it just sits and listens all the, like, I, I know it sounds crazy how I'm describing it, but this is like basically how they describe it. It just sits and listens, like it's not an actual thing. It's just like software. It checks everybody's videos to see if they've used someone else's property. People like Nicki Minaj, Drake, stuff like that. You really don't want to, I would be scared to use their music at all. Some people use their music for their intros, but they definitely have short intros. So if you're going to use someone's property for your intro, just make sure that you upload it privately so that YouTube can have a chance to check it and make sure that they won't copyright it because once it's copyrighted, it just goes down here from there. No, but if you've seen my video on my copyright claim, I'm gonna definitely keep talking about it because it happened to me. Y'all don't want it to happen to you. So yeah, if you've seen that video, then you definitely know my channel went downhill after I got my copyright claim. Um, it was doing so well. It was getting hundreds of views per video. And after I got my copyright claim, it barely got 10 views a week so i'm still kind of stuck but still making this video just to help someone else eventually eventually hopefully hundreds of thousand people will see these videos just because it's gonna help someone in the long run so yeah don't use someone else's property if a professional 
photographer things like that if they take those pictures you definitely don't want to steal those pictures like same with music don't steal people's pictures and music like you know if drake posts a regular selfie and you want to insert it in your video as an example do that because i'm sure drake's not going to come after you but if a professional photographer takes drake's picture and you know they paid for it what something like that then don't don't do that because if the person requests like hey i took these pictures like to, to youtube like hey i took these pictures i need these this video i need this taken down or i need to be paid from this video then they have that right so you for sure want to be careful with that right off the bat like don't take people's property and also with that like i said if you watch my copyright claim video then you already know but make sure that you look through look for all look through if someone says copyright free make sure you look through all of their description and things like that just so that you for sure know that you won't get a copyright claim if you use if, if you use their property if they're saying it's okay to use it make sure you for sure look through it all make sure you for sure i would even say screenshot things like that just because you can appeal stuff when you get a copyright claim so if you happen to see something like copyright free stuff to use from looking through youtube definitely make sure through the description description and comments and all of that that it's for sure copyright free because people will be sneaky and sneak some stuff in there because <clears throat> look once you get copyrighted for using someone's property they definitely can get paid from it they definitely can get paid from your video number two <laughs> it makes me laugh thinking about it you guys we're not sailors here we're not we're not what I'm getting at is do not curse a lot when it comes to YouTube. Um, you guys know YouTube is very much kid friendly. Like I said, the world has just adapted so much. You know, kids have cell phones, kids have tablets. When I was a kid, I had nothing but rocks and dirt. But the world just gets better and better every day. So with that, kids, like younger kids for sure, they definitely love to sit on YouTube and watch cartoons. I know y'all seen about the, the little boy who, you know blew up made millions off of playing with toys on YouTube so kids love to watch stuff like that on YouTube and you know cursing a lot and things like that you can like I've seen from popular channels that once you actually get popular and stuff YouTube does try to demonetize you for everything and what that is they take away your money like you know they're supposed to pay you for your videos so like I would say as you see popular youtubers really don't cuss much i would say that it's best to do the same because obviously they know some you definitely wouldn't want to get demonetized for that so i'm gonna just go out on a limit i just wanted to scoop that in there because i do see a lot of small youtube channels they'll get on youtube and cuss like they don't kiss their mom with that mouth and stuff like that so yeah we're not sailors here don't get on YouTube and treat it like you would uh, the workplace. Because I feel like that's how, um, once you start getting paid by YouTube and stuff, I feel like that's how they, they, they like, it's really just a work, work type of thing. Like, a lot of people do consider YouTube their job and things like that. So consider it just... So just consider it like your job. Who you want like? You're not going to sit there and cuss up a storm at your job because that would be unprofessional so don't cuss a lot on youtube because i'm pretty sure if they do demonetize uh people for cussing a lot it's really mostly because you know there are a lot of kids on youtube and i know when i play coco melon for my nephew i do not switch over to youtube kids and things like that so you know youtube is used to recommending what i watch so if i play coco melon um it may recommend a video that i watch after so i'm sure that is one of the reasons why they would demonetize your video for um cussing a lot is because kids use it freely moving along child i'm sleepy y'all okay this one is very important this is what made me make these videos this is what made me make the do's and don'ts when starting a channel and all all of those things the things that you just really need for youtube to know do not exit when you're uploading your video when your video is uploading and it's going slow do not press close and exit out like um i won't even just say uploading for sure when it's uh processing you guys a week ago i closed i closed out my video while it was processing 
and it literally was like like it was at 95 percent and i it took 10 hours to upload and it took that long because i switch them over to better quality 1080p just all the qual i make all the quality better because you know it automatically if you check in um iMovie it'll automatically have it'll all automatically have things set i can't think of the word right now like i said i'm sleepy but it'll already automatically have them set and so i change it to like instead of it'll have it set to save in uh faster i'll have i'll go and change it to save as better quality instead of save faster so it does take longer when you make your quality better so when i make my quality better it takes hours to upload the video so when that happens you don't want to get impatient and close that out because when i press close after sitting for 10 hours i press close because it was stuck on 95 percent and i was like okay i don't know my computer froze or something and it literally popped up and said video abandoned video could not be uploaded video cannot be processed and it's like like y'all like it literally just basically delete the whole video like i had to actually go in and delete the video but it was like nothing there was no longer a video so i wasted 10 hours uploading that video and then uh like when i upload videos i try to upload them when i'm asleep i don't leave it awake like permanently and so every now and then i have to like you know touch the mouse or something so that it won't go to sleep and so with that 10 hour spread and also me like you know wanting the videos to upload while i'm asleep because sometimes i edit them late i kept waking up out of my sleep to make sure that I, it was the computer was still awake uploading because I know that affected my video is that affected it as well once once before where um it went to sleep and it literally did not upload my video it was stuck it was like paused from from where it fell asleep like 18 percent one one night so I woke up and my video wasn't uploaded so that was a mess child so like I was saying make sure when your video is uploading you don't exit out if you want your video to upload faster make sure that you you know have it set to faster and you know the settings like I, even even when i don't set my video to the best quality i feel like it looks okay if you don't mind it uploading longer make sure you do it in advance things like that but make sure you do not close out when um, your video is uploading your video is processing so moving on try not to get random people in your video this goes into like a property and things like that so what that means is when you're vlogging try not to put the camera like you know try when you're recording and you're going around try not to have people's faces just sitting there clear as day like you know someone could be picking their nose and you're recording all around the room and uh you don't even notice but you leave it in but once you're editing you're like oh that's funny and leave it in your video no that person is embarrassed they were digging in their nose they are embarrassed yeah people if, if they ever saw your video and noticed like or you know their family member their friends if someone noticed your video and thought cindy you in this video guess what if i was cindy i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna reach out to youtube like hey mm -mm, this me this me and this this girl knew better for putting me in this video so i'm gonna need you to take it down like um i doubt that that person would could even try to get paid for it but definitely if i was in someone's video without permission um and i didn't look my best even if some, some people don't want to be you know in your video so i would definitely me myself be like um youtube i need this taken down because i do not give this person permission to put me in their video like i'm sitting there clear as day looking a mess like me when i'm you know just any regular day like i really don't like to get girly and stuff like that so any regular day i'm just looking like a bum especially when i go run errands so i would definitely not want to be in the back of someone's video clear as day so yeah try not to give people's faces in your video for that reason also you definitely the way that things go now like i said the way that things go now refer back to my opinions and negativity video the way that things go now people will you know record you and make fun of you and so you definitely don't want to be in someone's video randomly 
where they could be making fun of you or you know in the comments they could be making fun of you it is anyone could be making fun of you when you're just really just living your life minding your business so if you wouldn't want it done to you don't do it to someone else so yeah like when i vlog i definitely if i get people's faces uh in the camera clear as day then i'll cut that out but for the most part when i vlog and there's people like all around i try to make sure to angle the camera above their heads like i said you don't want it done to you don't do it to me so okay moving on number five don't worry without success i'm telling you i'm so tired like i'm just i'm doing so trying to keep myself like functioning but yeah don't try to worry about the success just have fun have fun when you're starting your channel do not worry about your, the success because like i said it can be hard people look at youtube like like everybody like i feel like everybody even myself like i looked at youtube like yeah then i start me a channel i'm gonna blow up right away i'm gonna have a million subscribers by the end of the year and we have it through the year and i have i don't even think i'm 100 yet but it's all good it's all good it's all good because people really just have to get used to you know who you are um see your face things like that you really have to have you just gotta have patience with it because and it's not just me like that's a lot of people like definitely like i say i post the kind of content where i just like to give advice and stuff like that every now and then i'll do a vlog i'm really not doing pranks and trying to make people laugh and things like that i'm really trying to help people grow and motivate people so not everything is going to blow you up and get you a million subscribers right away and that's okay like for me i definitely have fun with youtube i have fun doing this because like i say i have social anxiety so it feels so good to be able to sit and talk to a camera by myself but also know that people are going to see it and i could be impacting somebody's life do not worry about the success because if you worry about the success you're definitely going to give up like when i got my copyright claim i didn't think about giving up but like i said in a previous video i did think about starting a like starting over and creating a, a new channel and just you know starting from there because i was like this channel is not getting any more where youtube you know recommends it to people it wasn't getting any more of that so i was ready to switch and start a whole new channel but still upload the same uh my videos again you really just gotta have fun with it like everything on my channel like i have fun with it i have so much fun honestly i just have to say i have so much fun because i feel like i uh eventually i will be impacting people eventually i will have a lot of people that i get to interact with a lot of people we just give each other advice and we give each other feedback that's what the comments are for i definitely can't wait until i have so many people just commenting in the comments and like you know having conversations with me me having conversations with them um meeting new people and things like that the only thing that i don't like is really getting getting glammed up and that is the next one don't worry about your appearance i remember especially in the beginning i was so worried about my appearance and i thought okay i have to have makeup every video to the point where i'm finna insert it right now but y'all i look so bad in this video i had i you know um i've said before that i'm not i'm not a makeup person i don't do makeup i'm not good good at it at all i just um learned along the way and so i did this look and i had a big eyebrows they were too dark um i also had dark uh eye makeup on that's why i really i don't have any on i really don't wear eye makeup because i don't know how to do that at all yet and so mixing that dark and that dark it was just it looked terrible so yeah i would definitely say don't worry about your appearance because when i did that i was so worried about my appearance so worried about okay i have to look good every video or good every video and i ended up looking like crap you know but the things i said in that video were helpful so of course i kept it up it's still up eventually when people start getting familiar with me like i said people do not care uh, i have my comment pinned saying that um the makeup it wasn't good for me i even had some, an instagram follower dm me like it was a guy he's like um this wasn't it this 
this look wasn't it like, like you you always look nice but this wasn't it and you know i was like i appreciate you know i appreciate you watching the video i thought the same thing you don't have to apologize and things like that it is what it is well i wanted to make this video with no makeup and stuff just because of that reason that don't but i ended up taking pictures a few minutes ago and i'm currently vlogging still because I'm still on this trip. I don't know which video is gonna come first, but yeah, I'm currently vlogging. And so I went out to dinner earlier. So I had this makeup on already and I didn't wanna take it off because I just finished taking pictures right before I started the do's and don'ts video. So yeah, anyway, um, eventually y'all are gonna start seeing me more and more without makeup and stuff like that because I have to take my own advice you know you can't you don't need to worry about your appearance because like I say people is people are going to attach themselves to your personality not how you look not what you do but your personality so that's all that really matters when it comes down to it okay moving on chair this is a really important one <laughs> this is really important because I really be laughing about this one for sure when I see it happen you guys don't clickbait do not clickbait so with clickbaiting it's not gonna help get subscribers at all it's really gonna make people like mad and it's gonna make people like you know those negative people it's gonna make them resort to giving you their unwanted opinion so don't clickbait so what that means is i'm doing this video about do's and don'ts but if i you know caption this title this video photos of papa bear Nicki minaj's son and then have a little picture of her holding him that everybody's already seen and then you click on the video and i'm talking about do's and don'ts of youtube you're gonna be upset like the the barbers are gonna be upset <laughs> they're gonna they're, <laughs> they're gonna rip me to shreds in the comments like you you don't play like people look at they're gonna be like you don't play about the queen we don't play about the queen you don't so that's definitely what i mean by don't clickbait like if don't make your thumbnail and your title one thing and then do the complete do something completely different in the like actual video because people do not take that lightly some people do not take that lightly like i like i said people are going to comment their opinions whether you're doing something good or not so if you're doing something like that that's not good at all and they're gonna comment their their opinions because you know everybody entitled child so yeah don't clickbait like i really don't even have to just get too much into that one it's just does you just don't do it just don't do it because i've seen it i've seen it and it's not it does not help your channel so yeah don't clickbait moving along when you're starting your channel you do not have to worry about quality items like I said, I have two ring lights right here in front of me. The only reason I record with the smaller one is because for my main, my big ring light, the piece that holds your phone, it, I lost it. I don't know what happened to it, but it's just gone. I haven't seen it in months. And so I record with uh, the smaller uh, stand in front of me holding the phone and the bigger one right behind that one, just so that I'll get all, just so that I can get the good lighting. But yeah, you don't have to invest in like the big ring light. It was like $70, $80. The small one was $30 and you got it off of Amazon for me. I really just wanted this one just if I was recording like at my desk or something. But yeah, you could really just get this smaller one because it gives off good lighting as well. But you definitely don't have to invest in a big ring light. You don't have to invest in a camera when you're starting YouTube because I know a lot of uh, big YouTubers, they invest in cameras once they blow up. You don't have to do that. Like me, I have a camera. I've been having a camera for uh, about two years now, but I record on my phone. Like I said, I have three phones and I record, I use one phone specifically for recording YouTube. So you do not have to go out and buy a camera, all this photography and video equipment to make a good, decent video. Because at the end of the day, you spend all that money to make a decent video when really people just want to, like people are going to attach to your personality. Like I keep saying, they're not gonna be worried about how light your video was how dark your video was 
they're not gonna be worried about the fact that they could see your pores through the screen because that camera quality was a one no just get your phone whatever phone you use any phone is fine as long as the camera is okay like you don't have to have top-notch quality but definitely as long as your video quality is okay you don't even need a ring light you don't need a fancy setup anything like that just make sure that you enjoy yourself rather than focus on blowing up and you know making money in the beginning this is a really important don't because a lot of people don't know about this but and you might say a lot of people do but a lot of people are still doing this to this to this day 2021 a lot of people are still doing this do not start your channel with a get to know me i promise you nobody wants to get to know you it sounds harsh it sounds harsh but child i'm i'm giving you i'm giving you the brutal honesty that nobody is gonna really give you as far as saying nobody wants to get to know you it just means that having a brand new channel nobody knows who you are so they're not gonna be interested in getting to know who you are it's just not a good video to start out with because if nobody's really asking you who are you you know like it that's it just shouldn't be your first video it's a bad move i won't just say it's a bad move but it's not something that's gonna get you far it's not gonna blow you up a lot of people start their channels with get to know me and it's like nobody asked like i'm not trying to put it in a harsh way i just really don't know how else to put it and i'm saying if you've already done it then i'm not like saying it in a bad way i'm not trying to attack you or anything like that i'm just saying definitely for people who um are looking to start their channels don't start with get to know me because get to know me is really for people who have started to establish a steady amount of subscribers like it's steadily rising and your videos are steadily getting views that's when you want to do a get to know me if you even want to do one at all like me even if i you know start to steadily rise and grow i probably wouldn't do a get to know me like you you definitely can but i probably wouldn't i probably would i don't know only reason i say i probably it's half and half i only say i wouldn't i probably wouldn't because i really be letting y'all know stuff about me in my videos to begin with like social anxiety i don't know stuff like that i, I let y'all know little things about about me in my videos here and there like a lot so by the time that i do get a steady um subscriber count that's steadily rising then it's just like you throughout the videos i've said like everything about me you know so definitely like i said don't start your channel with a get to know me because it's not gonna help your channel grow you want to lean more towards things that are trending to start your channel off like i said before i got a copyright claim i did a lot of business videos and i even did a clothing haul that shot up to 800 and something views after two days like you know you just want to do stuff that's trending because 800 views in two days is really really good for a channel a brand new channel at that so you definitely want to get on stuff that's trending just you know look around see what's really trending things like tiktok uh, videos try on hauls those are definitely trending videos that are always trending um makeup tutorials hair videos review videos things that teach people those are always the kind of videos that are trending so you definitely want to look around youtube see what's really trending and if it's something that you're into or you're you already do then hop on that make a video of your own um, make it your own and that could help you you know potentially grow your channel faster but um get to know me is not gonna help at all i really want you guys to know that for sure it's not gonna help because people look at get to know me like i did not who is this who are you so yeah don't start your channel with get to know me number 10 do not y'all this is important do not make 10 second videos don't make 10 second videos if you're trying to get in the YouTube creator program where you get paid, don't make 10 second videos. Especially if you're a brand new channel, you have no subscribers, anything like that. Don't make 10 second videos. Don't make one minute videos. It's not going to help you in the long run. And what I mean by that is to get in the YouTube creator program where you're getting paid, you need 4,000 hours of watch time. Yeah. And you need a thousand subscribers. So let's just cut out subscribers right now and just go back to that 4,000 hours 
of watch time. That's a lot of hours. And you need this within a year's time period to start getting paid. So that's a lot. Like, don't look at it like, oh, if I miss, if I miss the, the year, then that's my only shot. No, keep going. Keep trying. Don't give up. But, yeah, 4,000 is definitely a lot of hours. And think about if your video is one minute long or 10 seconds, especially 10 seconds. If you're making videos 10 seconds long thinking, oh... I got a thousand views now do the math I'm not gonna do it for you because like I said I'm sleeping my brain hurts 10 second videos and you have a thousand views and I'm being generous do the math how much watch time is that is that close to 4,000 it's not baby it's not if you see these big YouTube these big youtubers they make their videos, you know, once they get to a good following, 100,000, uh, 200,000, 400,000 and on up, they make their videos, like their, their vlogs will be an hour long. Their regular videos of just like really doing nothing will be 30 minutes to 40 to 50 minutes long. They're just long. And if you've ever wondered why, that's why. They're, they, they're making that money. They wanna make sure that they continue to get paid. And so, like, you know, if I'm like, I made my video and it's like 20 minutes long, 30 minutes long, cause y'all know if y'all go through, look, if y'all go look through my videos, they're, they're pretty long. Even though I split this one up for y'all, they're pretty long. But even when they're like 20 minutes, it's like, dang. And I'm like, you know what? That's actually good. Like these big YouTube, these big YouTubers really make their videos one hour long. Like just about most of their videos be one hour long. And sometimes I'll look and I'm like, I'm not watching this. Why? Why would you make this one hour long? Like their vlogs, like a lot of them don't really be doing anything. Like I hate when people sit in their vlogs and they waste like 10 minutes just letting you guys or letting us sit and watch them eat. Well, I'm gonna say y'all, cause I don't see, I click off a video by then. I'm not gonna sit and watch nobody eat for 10 minutes. I understand you're trying to make your money, honey, but I'm not going to sit and watch nobody eat for 10 minutes. That's just not what it is. Get busy. Get active. Yeah, when uh, anybody's like, oh, man, your video is long. 20 minutes, baby. That's not long. Plus, y'all got to start thinking of it like that, too. Especially new YouTubers, they look at it like, oh, 20 minutes, that's too long. Nobody's going to watch my video if I make it that long. They're not even going to want to click on it. Honey. If you start off with little bitty videos that are that are one minute uh, long or three minutes long, it's not gonna help you. You need to do what's gonna help you. Don't think about what people aren't gonna like. As long as people like your personality, I keep telling y'all that's that's all that it is. As long as they like your personality, because making one minute videos to please people is gonna hurt you in the long run because. 4,000 watch time hours is a lot of hours. That's a lot. I don't, I actually, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't like making my videos long. I hate when my videos are over 20 minutes because I do feel like people will be, you know, not everybody will be engaged to the end. But, so, yeah, that's 10. But I am going to throw a tiny bonus in the end. I'm so tired. I'm gonna say one thing that I used to hate to see, like now I really don't go through people's comments much. I like when I watch somebody's video, I automatically go through the comments for sure before it even begins to just get an idea of what's going on or like what, like if it's any good or not. One thing that I did not like, I hate it when people would comment like, go subscribe to my channel or come subscribe to my channel and I'll subscribe to yours like subscribe for subscribe stuff like that like you guys I did say in the do like promote yourself well but don't go in other YouTubers comments and promote yourself to me I would look at those people like man like that's annoying like I came to these comments to see like how did other people feel about the video and you're commenting go subscribe to my page like if you if you feel like that's what you have to do and like and like as far as um all promotion is good promotion and do that do what you gotta do but for me to y'all I'm gonna recommend don't do that 
if you're about to start a channel like i would recommend don't do that because uh um if a lot more you know there's people like me who just look at it as annoying and you definitely wouldn't get a sub like a subscriber out of me like i wouldn't subscribe because just off bat like mm -hmm, i just you gotta promote yourself well but you also like me i just want my channel to just grow on its own just i want genuine people who are really interested in what i have to say so that's what you should be going for you shouldn't be telling people subscribe to me and i'll subscribe to you back you should definitely get genuine subscribers and subscribe to people genuinely because you could be commenting that and you know you could be vegan and you could subscribe to me i'll subscribe to you and you end up subscribing to somebody who <laughs> just cooks nothing but meat so and then you're gonna be like oh no let me unsubscribe from this person like it's just no point you shouldn't have did it to begin with so anyway y'all know i'm gonna come through with these crazy uh examples but yeah that was just a little bonus i wanted to throw in there but i'm about to wrap this up and go to bed because i look tired i look tired so i'm about to go to bed so yeah Make sure you guys tune into the next video and the next video and the next video and the next video. And make sure you guys subscribe to Rent That Spill. And then when you subscribe to Rent That Spill, make sure you click the description box and follow me on all social medias. And then when you do that, make sure you go shop 90s Misfit because why would you not? Why would you not? What have I done to you? So, yeah. But then when that's all said and done, have you subscribed to Sibs for Life? Have you? Well, then go. Go subscribe to Sibs for Life. Why would you not? Because that's that's where you're going to see funny legs. That's where you're going to get the little chokey jokes. So, yeah. Make sure you guys subscribe to Sibs for Life. Make sure you guys tune in on Wednesdays and Saturdays just to catch Rent That Spill drop. Just to make sure you can catch when Rent That Spill drops a new video. And yeah, that's it for this video. Good night. Good night.